Well, God bless you. I'm Pastor Mervyn January. And I'm Evangelist Monique January. Welcoming you out to our in-person service every first Sunday. Yes, all are welcome to come and fellowship with us. Hallelujah. And get what you need from the Lord. We are currently located 5425 Northeast 27th Avenue, Portland, Oregon. That's the corner of Northeast 27th Avenue and Killingsworth. You're invited every first Sunday. 1.30 p.m. Come on, check us out. Go to our website, savedandserving.org, and we will be so happy to have you. And if you go to our website and click on plan your visit, we'll yes. be waiting for you with open arms, ready yes. to receive you. Yeah, so once again, every first Sunday of the month, hallelujah. Also remember, on July the 31st, yes. we will be having baptism. I know some people want to get baptized. Yeah. Again, uh -huh. some people want to get baptized for the first time. Yeah. So on July the 31st, on Sunday, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get baptized. Yeah. Keep an eye on our website. And if you look forward to getting baptized and you click on a plan your visit form on our website, Add that in as a note. I want to be baptized on July 31st. Yes, we look forward again to helping those grow in their ministry with Jesus Christ. We will be in person. And just so that you know, come June, the first Sunday of the month, we are having family and, and friends, friends day. <laughs> so bring all your family and friends and let us come together. And Whoever brings the most guests is going to get some really nice prizes. <laughs> nice prizes. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are just excited. Thanks for right. God. We glorify God. Hallelujah for calling us into the ministry. And we thank you for our followers. And until we meet again, may the Lord bless you real good. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on in, come on in. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. What a mighty God we serve. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, get your minds on Jesus. Hallelujah. I know we've had a long, nice, prosperous day just because of the sunshine here in Oregon. I don't know about anywhere else, but we needed some sunshine. Man. So I hope. So everyone is feeling great today because of the sunshine, amen. amen. But just feeling great to be yet alive, yet you know, here another day, amen. Another day above ground, hallelujah. When you tell older people, it's good to see you, what they say, it's good to be seen. 
So praise the Lord. It's good to be seen. Amen. 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 Come on in. Come on in. Amen. Grab your Bible to look in the share buttons, for we are here but to dive into Bible study. Glory to God. And I don't know about you all, but I have been enjoying this series of why do I believe in God? Hallelujah. Because I tell you, I can't make it without God. I don't know about you, but I don't know where I would be without God. You know, I understand what David said. You know, where would I be? You know, I had fainted unless I believed to see the good of the Lord of the living because I believe in God's hand. I look forward to feeding the people of God. We look forward to even hearing hearing from God. A lot of times we get doubts as we're speaking and teaching to you all. So God is just good. I appreciate him. I thank God. Thank God for Pastor January. How he labors uh, in the Word of God, and he is not unrighteous to forgive those who are in love for His people. And I know that God has a blessing for, for on Him because one thing about it, come Monday, He's like, "Okay, babe, I'm home from work, but let me go get ready for Bible study." You know, and I'm like, well, "Okay, you know," and He just. This, you know, he's always working to make sure we stay above ground. And what I mean by that, to make sure we're on point here at Save the Serve Ministry. I appreciate my husband and his hard work. Sometimes I'm just doing whatever I want to do, but he's back there in the Word of God. He's back there doing video, invite videos, you know, because he's part of the ministry. You know, and I appreciate that about him. And I love you, babe. And we're just going to go ahead and dive in in a second here. But if you have any prayer requests, Quest, please feel free to put them in the uh, comments. Amen. We thank God for Mama Shirley. God bless you, Mama Shirley. We're praying for, for you. Our thoughts are with you. Glory to God. It's just good to see you on here. Amen. I pray you're having a blessed day, a blessed week thus far. You, God is good. Hallelujah. Keep praising him. Keep giving him the glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because we are in the season of signs and wonders and miracles. Glory to God. Double praise. Hallelujah. Sweat this victory. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Praise. Father God, we bless you as we bless you, God. We praise your name, God. We thank you for another Bible study. Another week, oh God, coming over before your throne of grace, oh God. Have your way in the midst of us tonight, God. Lord, let us uh, die, God, and you increase, oh God. Father let no no flesh glory in thy sight, O oh God. Father, but you get all the glory in you. God, in the name of Jesus, as it is so, I pray for everyone that's, that, that needs a healing. That, Lord, you would stretch forth your hand and heal them, God. Everyone that needs some sight, O oh God. God, a lot of things yes. going on mentally, God. We will lift it up, God, in the name of Jesus, because you said if we keep our minds on you, God, you will keep us in perfect mind, God. And we even pray for those who, who use us in despite that or evil against us, oh God. Oh God, all we have to do, God, is kiss upon you, God, and we thank you, God, for miracles. Signs and wonders Honest. in this yes. season, oh God. Yes. And we forever give your name and glory. And let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all like a chip. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. God bless you, God. Keep it tonight. We're excited about the word of the Lord. Yes. Shout out to those of you who are joining us online. Uh, we've got Deacon Charles Sampson here in Portland, Oregon. Yes. We've got Deacon Willie C. Carey III. Hey, I'm hey, God bless you. Temple of the Church of God in Christ Pontiac, yes. Michigan. Mm -hmm. The Sunday School Superintendent out there. Uh, shout out to Theotis and Shirley McDowell. Yes. Hallelujah. Down in Pineville. Oh, shout out to Jackie. Yes. Well. I <laughs> uh, can't see the names from others, but shout out to those of you who we're in other places on social media. Yeah, uh, shout out to Brother Donald Pope Sr. Yes. And Utah, 
God bless you. God bless you. Yes. So we just thank God for each and every last one of you tonight. We're excited about our continuation for this Bible study lesson. So we're excited. To be here we're excited that god has granted us another day yet another opportunity yes. to just give him some praise yes. because every last one of us knows somebody that used to be here <laughs> that's not here any longer that's right that's right so we thank god have tonight jesus we thank the lord have you with jesus hallelujah I remind you that we have bible study with an intentional purpose amen yes. amen it's very intentional Three reasons we have Bible study. Number one is to increase our biblical literacy. Yes. Number two is to elevate our spiritual consciousness. Uh -huh. And number three is to implement an intelligent faith mm -hmm. into our lives. Yes. We need faith to overcome some stuff. Yes. We need faith to, to deal with waiting on God's hand to deliver us. Mm -hmm. We need faith when we're sitting by and sickness and disease has got a hold of you. And you need that breakthrough. Amen. So tonight, we want to talk a little bit more about why should I believe in God? All right. All right. And we're going we're gonna to have two really critical questions. Uh -huh. Question number one is simple as this. Uh, it says, why does it seem that we are quick to exclude God? My God. Woo! That's the Question ah. number two. <laughs> That is kind of heavy, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're going to put some word on it, amen? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got a question number two, mm. Jesus, which says, what is the key to living righteous every, every day? day. <laughs> amen. 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 amen, amen, amen. So we definitely want to begin with question number one tonight, mm -hmm. so buckle up your chin straps, if you lost the track, put it back. Nope. Straighten up your wig because the ride right might get a little bumpy. Amen. It might get a little bumpy. Hallelujah. Did you get to Sister Cammy? She's over on YouTube. Oh, Sister Cammy Richie's on YouTube. God right. bless you too. Bless you. Hallelujah. Bless you. Hallelujah. All right, so let's dive right in and see what thus says the Lord. Mm -hmm. Question number one Why does it seem that we are quick to exclude God? Wow. When I read that question i was just like wow pastor i like the questions that you came up with this week because mm -hmm. that is a good question why are we so quick to exclude god let me say this about uh if it seems like the video stream is choppy or that is breaking up it's because initially we had some signal issues but i just switched from wireless to a wired plug-in wired connection so i'm hoping it's going to get better but thank you for letting us know okay. amen amen so we're hoping that it's fine now. <laughs> yeah. But um, why why do we exclude God um, from our lives? Why are we so quick to exclude God? And and we all know that um, we can come up with a lot of reasons, right? Number one could be anger, being mad, being upset, due yeah. to loss, you know. But why is it that we're so quick to, to do that? What is it in us that, that forgets God or makes us want to exclude God? And, and how do we overcome that? So... The next time we're angry or that we have loss in our life or that whatever your scenario may be, that we don't exclude God. And um, God bless you all. I'm going to let Pastor talk. I told Pastor I didn't need a fan tonight, but I'm telling you, my personal summers are kicking in. So I'm going to let Pastor go on. I'm going to excuse myself just for a second. <laughs> when it comes to pain and suffering, there, there's there's many of us who have chosen a different resolution other than God, for coping with our hurt. A lot of times we deal with hurt, we deal with pain, we deal with sufferings, we go through uh, relationship breakups, we go through divorces, we go through, I guess we could say it like this, times when we have severed or cut off some relationships in our lives. There are times when we're depending on God to get us through it. And in the middle of that, for some folks, I hate to say it like this, you know, you're sitting up there, you're thinking like this. If God doesn't come by the due date on the bill, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If I don't get a spouse by next year, I don't know if I want to keep believing in God. You know, I can't see him anyway. You know, people, they have this thing where we have to ask ourselves the question 
when it comes to God, do I love him in only a transactional way? Uh-huh. Or do I love him back the way that he loves me? All right. Unconditionally. Uh -huh. I mean, that's what we really want to kind of dissect here tonight. Mm -hmm. Because transactional love is basically God has to show up by the due date on my bill. Mm -hmm. That's You're looking for a transaction from God. Transactional love says, where's my healing? All right, Pastor, come on. come on. Transactional love says, I want my spouse by October the 16th, 2023. Okay. Because I'm going to start college. Or, or, you know, I'll be out of college by then. You know, or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Right. Uh, uh, how long before my actual blessing is going to actually come and right. show up? When am I going to get the blessing? Right. That's, that's, that's the mindset of a person who understands transactional love. Uh -huh. That's good. Unconditional love says it like this. God, if you don't come mm -hmm. by Friday yes. afternoon, uh -huh. if you don't come, uh -huh. it's alright. You've already done enough. Lord, if it never gets better, I, I got dreams. I got hopes. Come on, I have faith projects. Yeah. I have some things in the yeah. prayer box over here that I'm praying for. Uh -huh. I've got two or three of my prayer warriors and my prayer partners believing with me. That God is gonna make something move. Shit. The, you said speak to the mouth. We spoke to the mouth. Yes, yes. But it never gets better. Come on, Pastor. You've already done enough. Mm. If I never get healed, you've already done enough. Mm. Now it sounds good, but it's not easy to do. Mm -mm. We often start off in a season uh -huh. with the Lord on our side. We right. get all this. Strength in the Lord. Yeah, Wait, you bless me. I yeah, bless yeah. <laughs> they call you on the phone. Oh, hello. How have they been blessed? Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then we take back the controls from God uh -huh. when it gets too hard. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello. When we take it back, the Word of God is really our force field, our shield, uh -huh. our, our book. Our covering, our protection, yeah. our umbrella. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The shell that covers us. Yeah. And it, inside of it is encompassed the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Because if you don't know the will of the Lord, the will of the Lord is found where? In His Word. His Word. So if you want to be successful, we have to learn how to apply the Word, but we can't be transactional. We have to have a mindset that says, yeah. I'm un. Conditional with my yes. love to God. Yeah. We can't exclude God. Yes. And the only way to really prevent that from happening, you gotta hide the word in your heart. I, was, I think it was David who said, Against the only and the only Lord, the only Lord have I seen. Yes. You gotta start with that first initial relationship between yourself and the master. Amen. Because our prosperity mm -hmm. is wrapped up in the word. Mm -hmm. Our healing is wrapped up in the word. Yeah. Our delivery breakthrough and all of this stuff in the beginning yeah. is wrapped up, tangled up mm -hmm. in God's word. word. And the bottom line is you got to walk in the spirit. Yes. And another thing that I, I, so many scriptures are coming to my heart as Pastor was talking. I hear Proverbs, you know, three and I believe three and three and three. Three, five, and six. The third chapter, five and six, where it talks about trust the Lord with all heart and in all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. The key is to trust Him in every area of your life. Yes, yes, Trusting God in every area of your life, trying to exclude Him. That's right. And I remind though He said, "Though He slay me, yet will I trust Him." And again, when we think of the word slay, we think of negative, right? We think of the things that we've lost. Think of the things that we've been discouraged. That caused us depression. Yeah. But Job, though he slayed me, I'm still going to trust him. Yes. And it's something when Job said that, and sometimes you gotta go back and read why at the end of the the, the, the uh, end of the chapter or, or in the middle of the book of Job, he, he tells tells us that though he slayed me, yet will I trust yeah, him? Well, well trust. the reason being is because he you have to go back and read what Job went through and what yeah. he went through with God and how God blessed him and preserved him, yeah. even though he went through a lot. Hey, people used to say, well, I want to be like Job. No, thank you. I'm not going to be like Job. No, thank you. Job can have his life. But I 
I appreciate what that Job was able to pick himself up and keep going through all the pain. And then in another scripture, he said, in all my time appointed, I will wait till my change come. And isn't that something he said, in all my time appointed? And that's where we have to get to again when Pastor was talking about the, the discouragement and the transitional love and the unconditional yeah. love. But he loved God so much, he said that, Lord, I, as long as I'm here on on earth, he said, I'm going to on you. I'm not going to exclude you. So in all my appointed here on earth, he understood yes. that I'm going to wait till my change comes. Amen. 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 I hope that somebody is getting inside of this lesson tonight. There are a lot of nuggets that we can find down inside of this actual mm -hmm. simply because it's full. Yes. What I mean by that is there's so much in, in this topic that we won't be able to extrapolate it all tonight, mm -hmm. but we're going to do our best to touch on it, which is why we're on part six of the <laughs> subject in any way. Right. So be careful to not try to do too much because we want to really feast off of the meat that's on this bone. Try to say put some word put on some it. Put some word on the, it. The Bible shows us in Psalms 119 uh -huh. something that is very key. I said this a moment ago about hiding the word of God in your heart. Yeah. It says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Uh -huh. The more that we feed our faith, oh, I want you to catch this. The more we feed our faith, the less we are subjected to the world. Right. What do I mean by that? If you feed your faith, then you have to at some point get some results. Right. Galatians chapter 5 talks about, I think it's the 22nd and 23rd verse, all of the different fruit of, of the Spirit. spirit. Correct. Uh -huh. All of the stuff that's supposed to be working in our lives is found in Galatians 5 22 to 23. Uh -huh. But the way that it operates and how you should deal with it is found in Luke chapter 17, 20 to 21. Uh -huh. Because what we call fruit of the spirit uh -huh. in one chapter, right? The Bible calls uh the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. Okay, on, Pastor, yeah. and as, as we're looking at this thing going, uh -huh. why does it seem that we're quick? To exclude God. Well, we're quick to exclude God many times because the word has not settled itself in your heart. Mm -hmm. Now, we know the word needs to be hid in your heart. Right, right. But sometimes people use the heart as a hiding place and the devil comes along. The Bible says he comes in, snatches right. the word that was recently preached uh -huh. so that it does not take root right. in you. Mm -hmm. As long as the Bible does not take root in you, then you can't lock in with the word of God. When you lock in with the word of God, then what actually happens is it builds your faith, which is why the Bible says faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Right. But until you have the word here in your heart, give it a chance to settle in. Uh -huh. When it gets settled in, uh -huh. now you got something to work with. Now Luke chapter 17, 20 through 21 means something to you. Come on, Pastor. That the kingdom of heaven is there. There. No, it's not going to be in all those places. The kingdom of heaven is down inside yes. of you. Yes. Amen. Yes. All of those things talked about in Galatians 5, 22 through 23, I'm supposed to see it after they cross you in the parking lot and take your spot. Come on. After somebody blames you for something you did not do. After somebody takes your name and drags it through the mud of the streets. Then I want to see, like we have seen in us, as hard as it was, mm -hmm. you walking it out. Showing the fruit of the spirit. Yes. After yes. you've been mistreated. Mm -hmm. After you've been talked about. Mm -hmm. After you've been sick. Woo! Yes. Felt, felt yes. like you couldn't get well. Come on, Pastor. That, that, this, it's, this is a result yes. of the word uh -huh. being hid in your heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's put some more word on it found over in Romans 10 and 17. All right. All right. I'm on a roll. All so right. then, faith go. comes by hearing. Uh -huh. And hearing Great. by the word of God. Uh -huh. I just said it a moment ago. The yes. more you feed your faith, uh -huh. the less we are subjected to the world. Yeah. The less yes. we are subjected to people's foolishness. Uh -huh. You can go to work and people cannot use your ears, your ear gate, as a garbage can. Right. Meaning right. every word out of their mouth is granted or some ignorant joke and you're laughing at it. Uh -huh. Well, if you don't laugh, it's because you're standing on a principle right. that says, there are some things that are not worth laughing at right. because of my belief. Right. You believing in God causes your faith to be built up in such a way that you don't even deal with people's foolishness. Mm -hmm. You escape it 
and you can be sitting in the same room with him. Right. Amen. Amen. But we got to be careful, careful not to exclude God right. when we're trying to cope with some of this stuff. Right. Exactly. So these are reasons why we should believe uh -huh. in God. Right. If you have any prayer requests, make sure to put those in the comment section for us tonight, please. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we're going to move on to that next yeah. question. Two. <laughs> what is the key to living righteous every day? Hey, what is the key? Amen. Yes. Somebody can say just praying it when you get up in the morning. Oh. And walk it out like Pastor was saying in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Put on the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, love joy, peace, long suffering, temperance, yes. meekness, you know. Put on those type of things. But what is the key when, when you're dealing with issues yes. of childhood? What is yes. the key when you've been hurt or due to divorce or due to uh, relational issues or due to they fired you without cause? And what? how do I continue to be righteous? Glory to God. And those are the moments when you have to know who you are in God. Those are the moments when you have to go to the author, hallelujah, right. and begin to read, hallelujah, on what he says about persecution. Yes. For he yes. says, all that will live godly shall suffer persecution. persecution. But he also said, blessed are they who are persecuted, you know, right. because he said, we, 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 there's something about us that yes. people don't understand how we keep standing. Amen. Yes. There's something about us that people want to know why you not all stressed out and you yes. see what's going on around yes. you in the world in your individual lifestyle why well why it's because i know who i am in god yes. it was just like abraham he didn't stagger at the promises yes. of god but he was fully persuaded that what yes. god had promised he was also able to perform yes. and right. we have to get to a point in our christian right. walk that what God has promised you, amen. Hey. What God has said to you yes. that you stagger not at it, yes. but that you believe God, and that you catch a hold of the word of God. When David said that the Lord desires truth in the inward yes. part, glory yes. to God. And when you're walking around and you know that every area of your body belongs to God, yes. you can overcome anything. Yes. That's when you get into that scripture. I can do all things through Christ that yes. strengthens me. It may not feel good right now, yeah. but I can do all things, hallelujah. I may have to cry some time, but I can do all things through Christ. Why? Because he said he will never leave me, nor will he forsake me. Yeah. So it's up to me to build myself. I got to rap to myself. Oh, oh. You hear rappers rapping? Well, I'm going to rap to myself with the yeah. word of God. You got to sing to yourself. Yeah. You got to have a song on the inside. Glory right. to God. That's hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. It's something about knowing who you are in God, knowing what the scriptures say, so you can walk right in God. Yes, Lord. And I can go on. She's on fire! And on <laughs> and on. But it's relationship. I only have this because of what I've been through. That's this is right. experience. That's this ain't right. something I got overnight to God. Yes. It's because I hold to God's unchanging Amen. hand. Amen. It's because that when everybody else left, I stayed. Amen. When everybody else walked out on you, guess what? God yes. stayed. Hey, so God has a way of encouraging. Us oh, and us right. our most holy faith. Hallelujah. Yes, but it took time to get to know I'll God. Get Reading my Bible, mm. speaking in my holy language that yeah. only God can interpret. Thank Glory you, to God. So it, it just pays to be saved. I wouldn't Hallelujah. change nothing from my journey now. Glory to God. Because God is so good. When Mother Ellen would get up and sing in testimony service, she would say, My whole body belongs to God. <laughs> She said, my eyes, my ears belong to God. She said, my hands, my feet belong to God. My whole body belongs yes. to God. Hallelujah. And I want you to know my whole body belongs to God. Therefore, God encamps a fence round the valley. Yes. So when the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of God lifts up a standard. Yes. Glory to God. What do you know about that? It's yes. all the God, saints of God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Woo, let me pass the torch, Pastor. Woo, go ahead and take that next lap. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> Shucks. Woo, glory to God. Thank you. some more word on it. Hallelujah. 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 Romans 10 and 10 says it like this. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, yes. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, What Jesus. is the literal key mm -hmm. to righteous living? To live righteous every day. Okay. In, in all of my my days, all of my lessons, all of my experiences, 
coming with you know this this, this spiritual journey of walking with God. Mm -hmm. I, I've learned something that just attempting mm -hmm. to live righteous every day mm -hmm. is a plus. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, and this is no, I'm not throwing shade at nobody, mm -hmm. but when you look at a person who says, I am of an alternative lifestyle, or I'm gay, or I'm bi, or whatever they want to say they are, that, that whole community, all those letters, mm -hmm. when, when they do that stuff, they're going against what God originally planned and intended. That's not my point. My point is this. Mm -hmm. They practice being something that they weren't born to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? We, we all got, got some in our families who made that choice. Mm -hmm. And we still, because of the word, have to love them. You know, and, and, and we do love them. Mm -hmm. But I'm making a point here tonight about this thing, you know, about the key living rights every day. You got to practice living rights every day. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. a, a man cannot be a woman except he practice being a woman. Mm -hmm. A woman can't be a man except she practice being a man. You're never going to be that because you weren't born for that. Right, right. So I'm making a point here. Anytime someone goes against something that's unnatural, mm -hmm. you have to practice being that. Right, right. So because of our heart, it's being filled with so much stuff. Mm -hmm. God says, you need my spirit. Mm -hmm. So those that with me, mm -hmm. just worship me in what? Spirit and in truth. Yes. And love God with your whole heart, your whole mind, and your whole soul. Mm -hmm. That's biblical. That's word. Mm -hmm. We're commanded to do that. But guess what? It's hard when you don't understand how to be righteous. Right. You, the key to, to living righteous every day is to do like people who, who do in the world practice you know pastor i just want to interject something real quick we continue i remember when i i left the lord for about three years you know i have backslidden and tried to go out into the world but it just wasn't my thing but i remember going to the club with a friends and um when they started ordering drinks i'm like hmm, i don't even know how to order a drink <laughs> you know I don't even know what I would like, you know. <laughs> and my friends, they was laughing at me, and I was just like, hmm. so my wife said, you probably like something kind of sweet with a little, you know, hint to it. I'm like, I do not know. So I remember she ordered me a lemon drop, you know, and I was like, okay, I'll take it. I said, like, oh, well, it is pretty good, you know. But I'm just saying all of that to say that when Pastor was talking about you have to practice to be something, you really do. Mm -hmm. Because if you really don't know it, you, how else are you going to be coming? You got to practice it. But I thank God that. I I never got caught up in drinking. That was not my thing. But I just thank God, you know, that I went through a, a, a storm in my life, or what I should say, I just went through a, a backsliding season in my life. But I thank God that I didn't stay there. But yeah. I thank God that I have experience that I can share with other yeah. people because yeah. I believe that it helps other people grow in God as well. So I, I just want to throw that commercial slam. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Having the right combination of prayer, praise, fasting, discipline, obedience all of that stuff is required in order for you to be able to understand how this word works the key another key to living right just every day is you have to understand how to apply the word mm -hmm. reading the word is fine uh -huh. but check this out <laughs> if this were a bottle of lotion i pour the lotion in my hand the lotion is now in my hand mm -hmm. is the lotion doing me any good. Now it's just sitting there, no. If you only read the Bible, uh -huh. does it do you any good? No, no. You have to read and apply. Mm -hmm. If I don't apply the lotion in my hands, uh -huh. I still feel like I've been playing in a bowl full of flour. <laughs> right? <laughs> Amen? Amen. That's if right. you only read the word and don't apply it, mm -hmm. you have no concept of how to live righteous right. every day. Right. Because the word is waiting mm -hmm. on you. You to give it some instructions, amen. Amen. Let's, let's put some word on it, amen. and then we're gonna start tipping out the back door, amen. amen. Isaiah 55 and 11 puts a cap on this thing for mm -hmm. me. Uh -huh. It says, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I said. Ooh, that's word. <laughs> it said, in the thing. Mm. It's going to prosper somewhere. Yeah. In the thing. Uh -huh. That's your faith project. Come on, come it's on. gonna pro prosper somewhere 
in the thing that you are hoping for. I come on. Woo! 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 You want from yes, God. God. My faith Thank is going to prosper in the thing yes. that you are seeking from the Lord. Yes. In my faith. Woo. If you catch the word. Yes, God. And speak the word. Yes. It's going to prosper yes. in the very thing Hallelujah. that you are speaking Glory to. to God. Thank that you, you are Jesus. speaking on. Yes. That you are speaking you, about. Jesus. That, Jesus. that Jesus. you are speaking Jesus. with. Uh -huh. That you are speaking on behalf. Come on, Pastor. And yes. that you are allowing yes. the Lord to cause you to yes. cry out. Like it says in John 33. Uh -huh. Call me and I'll oh, show you yes. things Woo. that you know not of. Yes. When you begin to have faith and call on the Lord. Yes, God. I will answer the word that actually answers is the Spirit of the Lord waiting on you to give it some instructions. Thank you, Jesus. God's got oh, angels yeah. all around. Yes. Some of y'all angels got that's the ring. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's not the angel's fault that you're not getting some things accomplished in your life. Uh -huh. It's your fault that you're not getting some things accomplished in your life yes. because you have to understand the key, the key. to living righteous every day yes. is to invite God into the room. Hey, the God. key oh, is to invite God into your situation. The key is to pray to the Lord. You pray to him and invite Jesus. God into Hallelujah. the room. How can you? How, how can you know that He's a Come on, come on. If you Jesus. never even got sick. Come on, come on. Thank but you. now you got a testimony. Yes. Because yes. God carried you Woo. Yes. through your season you. when you couldn't even walk it out. Thank you. Jesus. Because prayer is the vehicle that yes. carries your miracle. Yes. When God. you pray to the Lord. Yes. 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 You invite him into your circumstance. Yes. That's why I tell people all the time your condition Woo. is not your conclusion. Uh -huh. Because God has the final say and his word sells it. If the word of the Lord that sells it. Settles if he said it, uh -huh. I believe it. Uh -huh. and that sells, sells it. it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether you believe it or not, I still sells it. Settles it. Hallelujah. Yeah. You don't even have to read it. That's still a word that settles it. That's the power of the Lord. Whether you do it or not, it settles it. Whether you do something, the word will still settle it. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, this key, and this is a trade secret. Uh huh. Let me take up a collection for this, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> the key is you have to make righteousness a daily habit. A daily habit. Yeah. Ask me how I know. How you know, Pastor? Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Got the t-shirt. All right. You have a name monogram on it. <laughs> you have this, this this thing that we call. You know, holiness, this thing that we call righteousness, this this salvation, this Jesus stuff, this Bible stuff, uh -huh. this, this y'all holy rolls, as people like to say. <laughs> this stuff works it's only yes. only when you make righteousness a daily habit. A daily habit. Righteous. And we're righteous because he's righteous. That's right. He said, now are you clean through the word which I yes. have spoken to you? He said, what? If we confess our sins, he yes, is faithful, faithful and just, just to cleanse, cleanse us from us all unrighteousness. unrighteousness. Glory yes, to God. And if he cleanses us from unrighteousness, then we become righteous. righteous. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, God is so good. Yes, he Saints is. of God, I tell you, at, if there's, a, there's a time in your life where people say, you know, I, you know, I had to have a, a come to Jesus talk yeah. or a come to Jesus the moment. moment. Yeah. And, they, and they say that a lot of the job, you know, when they deal with different issues, what have you. But if it's, this is the time Time now, you know, hallelujah, to understand that that God is for you. This is the time now to really understand you don't have time in your life to be excluding God from your life. But you do have time in your life to become righteous, to walk uprightly before God, to give God the life that he is required of you. It doesn't matter from where you come from. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. It doesn't matter that you don't have my testimony or pastor's testimony, but you have your own personal testimony. Mm -hmm. And, and it pays to understand that 
to and to have that question answered, why do I believe God? Yeah. And like Pastor said, it's not just enough to believe, but we have to apply the word of God. That's right. And God said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen, amen. And he said that there's not a thought in our minds that he doesn't know. He knows the numbers of hairs, hairs on, our head. on our head. Like he knows each one of them by actual number. We we keep, you know, I, I ask God sometimes, like, why, why don't there are some people, and when I say that, people who you've minutes you still want them to come to God, but for some reason they just can't get it themselves together, get to church because they continue to want to do what they want to do. And and some people are just not ready to give up their life of, of drinking and smoking and cursing and all that stuff. And, and, and it hurts my heart sometimes, but I said, God, this, this is your problem. It's not my problem. Right. And, and that's the whole thing. I um, And they want to stop. And, and that's the thing. They that's, want that's, to stop, that's, 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 but, but, credit, but, but what's holding them from stopping, you know, and sometimes it's our company that we keep. Sometimes company you keep, sometimes you're set in your, your way. Uh -huh. You're dealing with generational curses, curses yeah. and, and, and it's like, Lord, all I can do is pray and ask that you would save them, deal with their hearts, deal with their minds, <laughs> and we know God is because they keep showing up, but yet at the same time, they're not ready to give their lives to God, and that's okay. Because I'm not judging you. This is a safe environment. But if I could keep encouraging you a weekly and daily, get right. Get right, saints. Because you don't know when the time may come when God may call a number. That's right. And I don't know about you, but I want to make sure that I'm pleasing God, not man. Because man will let us down. That's right. That's right. I want to please the Lord because God has been good to us. He's been good to us. And we don't have to stop here, but we got to yeah. keep going. Our work is not done. Until we're dead and gone. Yeah. So I'm, I'm saying all of that to say that it pays to believe in God. It pays to take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. I believe it was American Express. So one of them said, I don't leave home without it. And, and that's the same with God. Don't leave home without him. Yeah. I dare you to start praying more, to just start giving, making room for God. Jonathan Riddles, if you get a chance, look up Jonathan Riddles. And there's a song that says, Make room. Yeah. Make room for God. Make room for him. You you won't be dissatisfied. God will God will never hurt you. Yeah. He will never hurt you. So make room for him. Amen. Let's put a little bit more weight on it because I, I want to touch on something now that I think is probably the most sensitive part of the whole night. Or at least I in my personal opinion. So let's put some word on it. Amen. Uh, let's go to Hebrews chapter number twelve, verse number eleven. And we, we want to talk about for this last portion here, as we close out, you know, why, why it's really hard, you know, and what, what's hard about this. Mm -hmm. Now, no chastening for the present, seeming to be joyous but grievous. See, uh, nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness yeah. unto them which are exercised there thereby. Are. Uh -huh. That's it. For the president, it, it, it's just, it seems grievous. Mm -hmm. What's so grievous about trying to please God? Mm -hmm. Jesus. When on the other side of it, mm -hmm. you've got a peaceable fruit of righteousness. Yes, yes. The people go to the gym. They don't come out with muscles tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When people go they don't come out slim and trim mm -hmm. by next week. Mm -hmm. It seems grievous. Mm -hmm. And you got to stretch yourself a little bit. Some of us have to get up like me. I get up at 5 in the morning. I have my workout. 6 o'clock, 6.15. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. Right. But but I got a plan. Yes. You see? Uh -huh. And the plan begins by going to bed early enough yes. so I can get up. And at 5 o'clock, because my clothes are already laid out for work now, <laughs> and we have an entire gym in, in the uh, in the in the garage. <laughs> but, but there's a oh, come on, now, Pastor. Now, I'll tell you, it took me three weeks to try to get up again at 5. Now, we used to do it in the Army, right. but that was 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it seems grievous yes. at first. Uh -huh. But then... There's a peaceable fruit of righteousness that takes place. This applies to everything in our lives. I want you, I want you to say tonight. 
Amen. Okay? Amen. Walking with God is a guarantee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But here's the mentality that you cannot have with God. Yeah. God is not a leprechaun. Uh -huh. He's not on, Santa Claus. Okay, he's none of those things. He's not a genie in the lamp. Right. Also, he's not like a car dealership. You don't come over here talking about I'm gonna try before I buy. Uh huh. Uh, let me take a test drive. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> we're not even going around. You in or you out? Yes. Yes. That's like saying I'm a little bit pregnant. You know, <laughs> I don't want to out, but I heard somebody say that one time, yeah. and she said I'm a little bit pregnant. I said, no. I say you either bit or you're not. Oh, you're not pregnant. You know, I was like, I never heard that before. I told you something. I was like, I never heard that. I, I didn't come and tell my wife. <laughs> how, how, how can you be a little pregnant? You either all the way pregnant. Or, right. Okay. Right. So now, God, uh -huh. you either believe, right, or you don't believe. Or you don't believe. <laughs> and, and, and 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 I told somebody the other day, you can just pick a side. You you won't have to pick a side. Yeah. Come in. It's just so touchy because you got to pick a side. Yes. <laughs> Be 20, 30, and 40 years old out there trying to date. Mm. Guess what's going to happen when, when when the subject of religion comes up? You, you're going to have to pick a right, side. Right, right. Get married mm -hmm. and don't have the same religious beliefs. <laughs> At some point, uh -huh. you're going to have to pick a side. Yes. So tonight, I want to encourage somebody to just go ahead. That, that's that's the only thing that makes it so difficult, so hard. Mm -hmm. You gotta pick a side. How can two walk together except they agree? Pick a side. Go ahead it. and pick a side. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This is Joanna Casey. God bless you tonight. Jesus. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Sister Sunshine in Sacramento, California. God yes. bless you. Yes. God bless you all. Glory to you God. You got to pick a side. Amen. 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 You got to pick a side. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Pick a side. Thank you, Father God. Thank Go you. Go ahead and choose God. That's really what I want to say yes. to somebody tonight. And just, just, just choose God. He won't hurt you. He'll never leave. Never leave you, Hallelujah. He'll never forsake you. But, but we talked about it earlier. It's like the lotion, the principle of the lotion, metaphorically. Yes. You put lotion in your hand. It does you no good until you apply it. And like people like that, I read the word. Okay, reading the word does you no good until you learn how to apply it. When you start applying this stuff, then you'll start to see the blessing that we talk about. Then you'll start seeing all, all of the stuff that, 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 that you need for your life. Oh God. It'll oh start God. showing up. God will start sprinkling favor all, all over your life. Everywhere yes. you go, you will find favor sprinkled <laughs> all over your life. He will sprinkle favor all over you. And people will be asking you to this day, how did you get that? Yes, God. How did you get that, man? Yes, God. Hallelujah. How did you get that woman? Yes. Hey, I mean, Amen. that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. uh, when it carries says, if you just trust the word of God enough to be doers, yeah. even while in the midst of God, never preach. <laughs> even while in the midst of our issues, uh -huh. let me say that again. If we would just trust the word of God enough to be doers, even while in the midst of our issues, God will truly change hearts and minds. Yes. That's where faith starts. Amen. And it that taste and see. Yes. The Bible says in Psalms 34 and 8, oh, taste and see that, that the Lord is good. good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Yes. The moment you taste God, your life will never again be the same. The moment you come in contact with a personal yes. relationship, yes. God, a personal yes. relationship, yes. Yes. Again, a yes. personal relationship yes. you will never again be the same. Never. Thank you, Jesus. Never. 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 Thank you, God. Good God for hell. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Right where you are, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Let's give God some praise. Let's talk to God with the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. The fruit of the lips is just 
telling him thank you. The fruit of your lips is telling God, hallelujah, how good he is. How much thank you is stole him how much you exalt him glory to god hallelujah how much you want him oh glory to god how much you need god to take everything out of you it's not like him in the name of jesus hallelujah somebody said i'm tired lord hallelujah i've tried over and over to god but i can't do it without you god i can't do it without you god so here am i lord here am i Lord Jesus, here am I, Lord Jesus, God. Fight our battles today, God. Fight our battles, oh God. Father God, the song says it looks like we're surrounded, but we're surrounded by you, God. We are surrounded by you, and the way we fight our battles is lifted up our hands and praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, whatever you need, come on, talk to God. Come on, talk to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Yay. Yeah. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. Yes, you are Lord. so good, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory to God. Take heed, take heed, take heed to the word of God. Take heed to the word of God, yeah, 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 take heed to the word of God, oh, bless God, bless God, thank you, Jesus, yeah, thank you, oh, God, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, we pray that you have been blessed by the word tonight, glory, thank you, oh, thank you, as I can give, there's multiple ways to do so. Jesus. You can go to our website and give, or you can use our cash Thank app. You, cash Jesus. app. Thank you, Jesus. Um, cash tag, excuse me. Mm. We just want tonight mm. to bask in the remnant of what's left after the end of this service. Because I believe that there's a special deposit that was made tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So as we get ready to mm. sign off tonight, I want to stay in this moment. I want to stay in this atmosphere, an atmosphere of worship, an atmosphere that causes your life to basically be inspired in a fresh new way. A fresh new anointing is being deposited over us tonight. So we thank God for it. If I could just leave one, a one-liner. I would say this. The time is now. Look no further. Wonder no more. The time is now. Jesus. Yes, God. Everything yes, God. that's broken that you need to be fixed can be. But the time is now. Yes. Like, like, like. Like, there's no more waiting. Let, let us not even be fooled into thinking that there's something better than God. Let us not be fooled into thinking that the normal is coming back. What, what you're living in right now is the normal. That's why you have to have God as you navigate through the waters of, of the murkiness and the craziness and the evilness of this world. The darkness that you have to face every day. We need the Lord. The time is now, now. Time is now. you, you got to go ahead and submit now. now. And a year from now, look how much better you will be. That's all I can say. Think, think about it. if you start now, where you'll be by this time next summer. Jesus, Jesus. The time is now. Time is now. So I say, God bless you. God bless you all. God keep you. Yes. And until we see you again, may the Lord increase your faith yes. and bless you all. Real good. good. We love you. God bless you. We love you. Thank God bless you. Yes.